Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Nantucket, a new strategy game out that puts you in the whaling world of the 18th century. This is part 14, I think it is, of our Let's Play series. In our last episode, we focused a lot on the main campaign and the quest, uh, accomplishing three missions along that main campaign sort of storyline. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking to recoup a little bit of our money. Last time around, we spent over $1,500 rescuing a captain and purchasing a book and uh, several key important things to allow us to progress, but it also uh, you know, reduced our coffers a little bit. So in this video, we're going to be doing a little bit of whale hunting, a little bit of exploring, and hoping to kind of help continue the story along, uh, continue to develop and expand our cruise capabilities and skills, uh, and uh, also uh, set ourselves up to be ready to return to the Pacific Ocean so we can continue the main campaign quest. Uh, with that being said, this was all taken from a live stream from just a couple of days ago that was done over on Twitch. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and step out, and the audio that you're going to be hearing from here on out is going to be from that live stream. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll meet you all back up at the end. Um, he did. And he did. Nice. Two sharks down. And the other one's gonna dive. Okay. Well, you're all alone, great white shark. You old great white shark, you. So... No real point in doing medic, because again, no one's hurt yet. And I can't do anything to him, because he dove. We'll just continue. Gonna keep diving. All right. Still can't do anything, so he's gonna get a free strike in against us. Uh, he's not bleeding resistant, unfortunately, so our doctor is bleeding. So we'll switch him over to medical practice. A blood frenzy. Good God, that could almost, that could kill Thomas combined with the other damage he's already received. He can give himself first aid, and then THG will strike at the Great White. And then strikes at Thomas. Thank goodness he rolled what he did to keep himself alive. All right. Keep himself alive again, and then THG, we're going to go ahead and fasten the shark up, I think. Yep, fasten him to the boat. So now this one remaining Great White is bleeding. He's going to continue attacking our medic. Rough day for the medic. Like, dude, just leave me alone. All right. So he won't be able to dive either now that he's fastened. He keeps rolling first aid, so he's very good at that. Um, and then we'll kill the Great White. So we've got his health almost all the way back up. Uh, so we're in, in good shape there. Increased the level of Owen, the uh, hunter. Means he's going to get a little bit higher take, I think. Uh, morale of everybody goes up. My prestige goes up. And we get a whole bunch of food, I guess, from the sharks. Captain just leveled up. Go to him. I think we'll use the bonus on hunting. I think we'll go ahead and unlock... Can't unlock that. Like, covering fire, though. No, that's not really what I want to do. All right, so... Lock that tri... Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to do that. Go back. Fasten. That's the trick. Mm. Oh, we've got a third trait we can... Lock now. So we can use Butcher, Balanced Rationing, Rebalance Skill, Lumberjack, Technical Support, Master Boiler, Triworks, we'll do that. Alright, there you go. Still have one more point left. All right, so we're good there. Our captain is all leveled and traded up. I guess we're gonna go to the Mediterranean now. It's gonna take a little while. We've never been there before, but that's our other mission here before we're gonna sail around and search the Pacific. Aha! Beware of lightning. 
who make their trip is Belena Roy declare. And the wind is on the quarter, and the sails are full and free. There's not another way. Into the Mediterranean, lower the whale boats. Kill the creature. Alright, so THG Doctor Hunter. Hunter Craftsman Doctor. Um all of our best people. Yes, that's the setup I want. Oh god. A killer whale, two killer whales, a legendary killer whale, and an old killer whale. Yee. And we'll see how this goes, I suppose. Change these guys' rates here. Keep this because you could get smooth rowing in case you miss a roll or something. And that's exactly what happened. There was nothing here in this whaleboat. We can let Owen re-roll, and he gets nothing. Can't use that condition again. Wrath of the Kali Kahikel. So this was our Spear of Destiny, I think. Took out half that killer whale's thing, but fortunately the legend... Oh, God. That was bad. He just bit everybody. Uh. No! Don't bite, THG. I really hope my medic rolls something good once he's no longer s shocked. Alright. Switch the dice back over to Medic. So they're not going to attack this boat, which is good. Considering he got nothing. Alright, so we got one of them. I don't think they can kill any. Although Owen could die from bleeding if he gets bitten this turn. I'll go ahead and fasten up the killer whale. Owen's dead. Damn it! He just leveled up, too. Owen, Owen, Owen. And now there's really no one in this right boat who can do any real meaningful damage. Everybody's at full health, so I'm not going to use the... I should have used the doctor. I didn't realize... Uh, mistake. Alright, smooth rowing. Uh, let's use first aid on my character get his health up a little bit. Still inflicting some damage on the legendary killer whale. And they're coming back to attack. And he knocked us all off the boat. One of us is dead. The other two are in the water. Damn it. I don't think we're going to survive this. A retreat? Escaping! We lost a doctor and a hunter, but we... Oh no, Thomas is dead! Oh god. Oh boy. That was a rough one. Um... get a little bit of loot, I suppose, from the killer whale we did get. Let's go back to Peterhead. Closest major port that I'm aware of. Uh. To the harbor. God. Well, everybody's better. Everybody's healed. My stake is as terrible, I suppose. Um, whatever, I'll accept. Go back here and recruit some new people. Who wants to die for sure? I'm really good at killing my crew members. Anybody? All right, let's get a. Oh God, everybody's like really meaty. Get a sailor, I suppose. Really have liked another doctor, but 
don't see the point with everybody's levels as low as they are. Hmm. Boost, healthy. I don't want to fire either of these guys. I want both. Oh, I didn't know it gives you a nationality. It looks like everybody's... A, well, that guy's British. Hey, he's a British. Um... Install improved caboose compartment. Damn it. Like, those are things I want. Let's see about upgrading our ship here. Right. Maybe we'll just go hunt. Let's go hunt some whales. Level up, get a little bit more money. It's not whale season, is it going to be soon? Yeah, it's almost narwhal season. But over here. Oh. Uh, I feel like the best cruiser in Nantucket. So I suppose, or maybe we go to Ortia. Whatever. Gotta be calmed. All right, Let's head south. Well, we do have that um, trait that we accomplished that we can go back to Narwhal and get our money for, and we'll look for a better crew over there as well. We'll enter the harbor. Let's see. There we go. Fire you. Let's get a level 10. Further traits. Kill. Clean bill of health. Hunter. Die hard. Grenade. I like grenades. Cannon. Covering fire. The only thing is with those are more useful in like Human engagements, not as much against whales. I guess he's the best option. Um, then let's see about Doctor Seven. Go ahead and fire him. I'm a I'm a seaman. I don't need one. All right. So those are the changes we're gonna make. I think. Where are we at? Food-wise? Ooh, we got a lot of food. Got plenty of food, a decent amount of water. Let's go ahead and up the water level a little bit. Sell a little bit of the food. That much. And newspaper. Go ahead and get a reward. $200 for that. Close. Sail away. Come sail away with me into the night. All right. So I think we're going to go ahead and retry that mission against the killer whales, unless we want to go hunt some other whales. The narwhal season's coming up, but I don't really like going after narwhals because they're not really, in my opinion, worth it. Um, It's the only one that's going to be coming up here. Just waiting. Alright. I suppose we'll go ahead and hunt these whales. But you just don't get a lot of blubber from them. Although there will be multiple ones, I assume, now that we're on the level we are. Uh, no, I don't want two medics there. Um, here. Put the other medic in the other boat. And actually, why don't we pull Johnny out and put Leo in. We have two Leos. They're both level four Leos. Um, wow, 47 narwhal. I've never seen narwhals this strong. And they're all attacking the boat on the right. No one's hurt, so we'll let them do their clumsy strikes. See, there you go. That clumsy strike actually worked out. Um, got one of them, huzzah. Knocking one of those attack cards out. The weakest of them, but still. Okay, so the 
strongest one's gonna die. Well, one of the strongest one's gonna die. The other attacks, but... That. I'll switch him over to a medic, because there is someone who can be healed. And we'll go ahead and roll again. So, first aid. I'm gonna go with the 20, because the other one is... Well, we're gonna take two damage, but we're gonna almost finish this narwhal off over here on the right. We're gonna get hit twice in this boat. Tusk strike, but THG is resistant to it. And oh my god, I almost got killed. Alright, well he's got to switch over to Medic. I think I'm going to change my own character to Medic this round too. Although he's not attacking us. That's at least good. Rowing, you're going to go ahead and redo the roll. There you go, we got one of them! And first aid, 12, removes bleeding status. Customer. The tusk strike isn't too bad, because all it does is make you bleed. And it's just, it's a slow damage to your character. I'm going to continue attacking the boat on the right, so I'm going to switch my main character away from being a medic. Smooth rowing lets Leo roll again, and gets a nice little strike in there. First aid's all we want on that roll, but at least we'll heal THG up a little bit more. And he's going to continue the Tusk Strike, which is rather weak. I don't know what he did that gave, like, the 29 damage, but whatever that was, if that happens again, we'll lose a character. Just hoping he doesn't do that again. And he's probably going to dive, I would assume. But he's not going to make it. We got him! We got him! Victory! There you go. The day is ours. 20 blubber. That'll get converted to oil. 10 food, because why not? And there you have it. Um, where are our medics? He was already in the sick bay, so he'll get better on his own. Norman is in the triworks. We'll move him there. Go over here and move you in old. Okay. So we'll continue hunting whales in the narwhal section. Lower the whale boats. And away we go. It says there's an option to send your men off to hunt without you, which makes me wonder if there... Why does it want to do that? Which makes me wonder if there is a, um element to the game that is kind of like an auto-sim of the whaling where you don't have to actually fight it. I'm not really sure, though. Okay, so three more whales. Two more of them are old, so this could be a tricky fight. We'll see. Two of their traits are probably going to be diving, so we're going to focus on the center narwhal here. We can destroy it. Um, might have been smart to use the first aid trait on Hugh, because I don't know what he's going to get hit with here if they attack him. He dives, he dives, so two of these guys are out of action. Tusk strike against Leo, that's fine, that doesn't really damage. This guy will keep suffering bleeding damage, and if he tries to dive, um, he's not going to, he's going to attack, okay? All of them are going to attack, Some throwing, lets him roll again, and gets a strike. So... Knock one of their strikes out by taking this narwhal out. And can't hit the other guys because they're all coming up from a dive, so we'll just go ahead and heal our main character up. And hopefully weather the storm. It's again a minor tusk strike, so these guys really aren't doing much damage. I'm still kind of confused what happened that last battle where he had the huge amount of damage that was inflicted on us. I think it might be this. Yeah, I had 50% base damage, so I think there might have been a modifier. Alright, smooth rowing. Nothing on the second roll. The Wrath of whatever. He dead. The other narwhal is dead. Nice. So we're down to just the oldie. We launched a tusk strike against someone who can't bleed. So no damage at all. Alright. 
Gonna focus on the other boat. No one in this right boat is doing anything, even with the uh, double rolls quite often. And Tusk Strike. Two characters in the boat on the right are bleeding, but again, narwhals are more of a nuisance than they are like a serious, they're gonna kill you threat, it feels like. Um, there we go. He's done for. We got a mole. They're all fin up. Right. Food. Blubber. Converting the blubber to oil slowly. And I think we'll keep in this section for one more whale hunt. And we'll head back to Nantucket. Once we do that, then we'll head back to try and deal with this uh, mission in the Mediterranean. Alright, so I'm not going to auto-assign, because every time I do it, it does it wrong. Deal in there. You in this boat. The other boat is going to be... Leo, Donald, and Norman. And two weaker two adult whales and one oldie. Alright. So we can use the one medic because there is someone who's hurt in this in this boat. The other two they were there at. Really? Nothing in that left boat. Nothing. Huh. The power of love. Alright, so bleeding resistant. So again, Tusk Strike does no damage to you if you're bleeding resistant. And one of them, I'm assuming, is going to dive, and the other guys are going to attack. So we got one of the attack cards knocked out by killing the adult whale on the left, and we almost killed the adult whale in the center, and then the most dangerous one, the level 47 whale, just dove away. So that worked out for us. Should be able to finish off this guy here. The one, not a great roll, but we finished off a second whale here, who no longer can dive away. This guy's going to come up and tusk strike, but again, it keeps this. We've got two or three guys, two guys in this battle who are bleeding resistant, so that makes these things much simpler. Again, my hero is just you can't you can't tusk me. All right. And we're going to finish him off. That doctor's clumsy striking came in handy as we win this battle, largely unscathed. All right, so we've got about 23 barrels left in our hold. So we'll go ahead and get that blubber. And we'll get the four food we can still fit. There's a little bit we can't fit on board. We've got 800 days worth of food on board. Um, another victory, more prestige, good morale. $500 worth of blubber, but we've got $1,700 worth of oil. It's unfortunate we're only going to get like a third of that. And this should all convert to oil before we head into port. So we'll go ahead and do that. Kind of sail around until... Well, actually, that happened almost instantly. Let's go into Nantucket. It, sh it can always check the prices too, which it should have done. 20 64 for oil at Hortia. What's it in Nantucket? Hey, don't sing. I don't need... Alright, actually, Hortia is going to give us the best value for our buck, unless Peterhead is more. Nope. For Hortia, this island in the middle is going to give us $60. We hunt whales. Hunting rats should be easier. They're just rats. What could go wrong? Uh, I don't want to get typhus. So this is actually going to give us the best price for the oil. You can see in this case, we actually got $3,500 from our 51 oil. Our captain's take was $1,500 of that. Our crew got rich as well. It feels like a man of war coming into port after a successful voyage against convoys, i.e. lots of prize money. All right, here you go. What happens over here? Uh, deliver goods to Imbitutia. 
100 XP. I don't really want to do that. That's not very much money. Worth our time. Um, is there anybody worth... So... Hmm. I'm going to fire Hugh. He's a level 5. We're going to replace him with Gabriel because he's got the bleeding trait, the bandages trait that prevents bleeding. It'll max out our prestige. We've got two level 10 hunters and a level 10 medic now, as well as a level 7 medic. All of our medics have the bleed resistance. Uh, and we're now still at 37% take, so not bad. Let's go to our ship here. Is there anything we can upgrade here? Does not appear so. Um, general store, we've got way too much food, so let's go ahead and make a little bit of money selling some of this off. We'll sell maybe like 20 of it. Let's see here, we're getting good about just shy of $600 from it. But we're going to... All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode of Nantucket, part 14 in our Let's Play series, looking at the game. Uh, we had a successful and profitable episode. Not very, not any progress along the main campaign, but we did spend some time uh, hunting some narwhals, uh, making a little bit of money, getting a little bit of experience, and continuing down our main uh, goal of becoming the greatest whaling captain in the history of this game. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.